Hello folks and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Welcome to a new cycle, apparently. Uh, a little bit has changed around here. I, I just went ahead with the construction because it just was... It, it just took a long time. Um, yeah, we've got our levels all cordoned off there. We have... Uh, well, I've replaced... I've decommissioned this for the time being and replaced it here. Um, and there's still some changes going on. I ended up building all these critter condos and then realized that they have an overheat temperature. Same with the grooming station, same with the critter drop off. So they're, they've all got to be ceramic and steel to survive in here. Um, I'm using this steam vent to produce steam. I think it's a little overboard though. When do you go dormant? 26 cycles? Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. And as you can see, I'm just starting to get carbon dropped off, carbon dioxide dropped off down here. There's still some pipes for this vent. Uh, I might have to change the position of this, just looking at it now. The overall goal is to have a top area full of steam and this all this lower area full of carbon dioxide to feed the slicksters. So it's going to take some balancing for sure. Uh, and right now it, it certainly doesn't have that balance. So, you know, I'm just going to delete that and we'll let them work stuff out. I also had problems with doors because this steam vent was so hot. You can see actually I walled a whole lot extra here because it was overheating the pneumatic doors. Um, and I have made them out of steel down there. You have to, but they were going above and beyond. Uh, these, however, don't overheat. There's no overheat stat here. So I decided, why not? We'll put some fancy doors and it'll be, you know, they're, they're it's super hot. It's like 230 some odd degrees, uh, which will help, hopefully, with the water uh, flash back into steam, which is the overall goal here. Uh, this guy's intermittently running. I don't know. I hope we find an equilibrium before too long. I've set up the automation because, of course, we've got the steam exiting here. I wanted to make sure we have... Uh, this is sensing steam to turn this on and temperature. There's an AND gate there. So if it has steam at this level and temperature here next to the thing, it'll run. And likewise here and here. I'm not sure that's the way I'm going to go in the long run. Um, simply, I don't know. It's, it's going to be a balancing act and I'm not exactly sure how to best go about it. Uh, getting that proper portion of steam to carbon dioxide. Uh, anyways, we have a flooding of a fish feeder. Because this stuff's all finished. I haven't even been paying attention to this too much. But yeah, uh, I did pay attention to these ones and stopped it. But we've got some mopping to do on these guys. And we'll mop right to that level. And that. And likewise here. And that one, I already already done. So there we go. But I haven't looked at that in ages while we've been building that out. Okay, that should take care of most of the mopping maybe right here. Yeah. There we go. Deconstruct all those, turn off the water. And that's ready for fish, pretty much. We just have to put some feed in there. Uh, I've been keeping a, a, a loose eye on algae. It doesn't seem to go down that fast. Um, so that's good. We have some time to figure out what we're doing there. We're going to have to try and make it at some time. Anyways, yeah, this is, this is just about done. We could, um, we could even move some slicksters in. I've got this set up for slicksters on the left and molten slicksters on the right. The other thing, though, is I want a hatchery for them. Uh, so we're going to have to have some automation in here, some some auto sweeping. And I don't know if I want to go with this kind of setup because this seems overboard. Um, the amount of... I think the amount of incubators is, is definitely too much. If you look at our meat supply, well, actually we've caught up with everything. It's just surf and turf, meat, and lettuce right now. 
So maybe it's fine having one this big. We need to get another. Oh, you're just a regular pip. Our cuddle pips are gone. Oh no. They laid regular eggs. That makes me a little sad. Uh, what do we have left in here for pips? We got four of them in here, two, two hatched and two, yeah, th two are elderly. Uh, but this is a park. This is also going to be a park. Well, this is a nature reserve, or preserve. This is going to be a park. So they're going to go park. I'm hoping this, the bonuses stack and they get a park bonus and a nature preserve bonus. Uh... And this should be plantable. I It's kind of an afterthought, this whole room. I was just like, wow, we have a bunch of space. What are we going to do with it? Because we have 30, I think, 30 suit dogs. So we've we've got 10 extra in there. Um, and that helps, helps them recharge, I guess. I don't know. We have a lot of, we have like three oxygen lines going into there. So this one works overtime and then the other ones are basically full I could I could actually connect these and that would allow that to fill one extra and that would be kind of a similar thing yeah and I can tune it as we go I kind of have been but yeah otherwise things are things are just going just dandy no real issues to speak of uh, that I can think of anyways. Uh, and uh, let's have a look at the boiler as soon as we're done with the lag there. I have, yeah, we put in a ceramic pitcher pump here. And they've just dropped off their first bit of magma here. You can see it doesn't flow very far, so we need to fill this up to here in order for that to work properly. Uh, that really doesn't flow very far but it hasn't got a full volume. Now, that being said, it's only 8.2 cycles until this thing uh, ejects a whole lot of magma and then I don't think we have to worry about it at all. I just haven't decided what to do here and so I have been uh, just letting it do its thing. I think um, maybe we should cool down the bit of rock that's there or magma that's on top of the thing. Yeah, so it just precipitates out like that although the problem with that is dupes are going to want to come pick it up and build with it and it's super hot it's not going to get cold so my previous system of having a sweeper in there might need to make a return in fact I think I'll go ahead and start building those in there of course to probably pick up this igneous rock to build it I love this picking up bottles of magma it heats up that a little bit, but I've been finding that these water or uh, liquid locks are a little bit more resistant to temperature because there's such a volume that needs to be heated up. Same with here, right? So there you go. There's there's a bunch more magma, liquid hot magma. So when these are done. I don't even remember how I had this going, um, but this will inform me because that would have been there. I've already torn out all the power facility and everything for it, but I guess it exists right here, so no big deal. And so I guess this goes back to being just a regular old cooler. of the magma. I don't know about that. I think I think I'm just going to set it up so the rock drops down here and worry about it another time. There is enough space we can rebuild that facility we had, I think, but I want the boiler to work first. So, we're waiting on the magma uh, and then we start boiling the petroleum and then profit. Hopefully my my uh, power cables don't melt at any point in time. 
this work? Okay. Where is the thing? Automatic dispenser. And we are using... Yeah, I think I'll make it out of steel. Actually, it won't matter, will it? If it's hot enough to screw with an iron one, it's hot enough to screw with a steel one. Yeah, that'll reach there. It'll dump it down. And uh, the mod that I installed that allows manual use on these things is super handy because I can just turn manual use off. They're never going to come in here and... They, they get stuck in this loop where they just keep dropping stuff into the dispensers. It all depends on priority as well, but it's really annoying. So the mod that gives them the menu option for manual use is super handy. There goes the magnet. You see, it won't even flow. There's not enough of it. Or it, well, there's like 954 kilograms there, but only 159 there. Alright, you're good. Uh, you can... no manual use. Raw mineral. And not sweep. And then, yeah, the, it'll just drop them over there. And it can heat up, cool down as it wishes. Cool. So in a few cycles, maybe this uh, episode will see that running. Otherwise, we still have tons and tons of water. Actually, we're building up quite a bit of water in here. Uh, the one thing I did notice is, well, actually, yeah, our cooling systems are not really up to dealing with all the heat that's coming out of the uh, this area and that area. These kind of like overflow. Um, not actually overflow, overpressure. Which is slightly annoying. Because uh, it's an inefficiency. Meanwhile, this is still... Because this is just so much steam that's coming out of here. I almost... I almost want to wall a little bit right here. That might help. Oh, the cycle lag. Yeah, let's continue this wall so it, it doesn't expand downwards here so much. Uh, that's the hope anyways. It's really this guy right here needs to, needs to be good. Um, we don't actually need those, like we don't, we don't need doors on this level. So another option, I could put another steam turbine over here to just deal more directly with, with this steam vent. Might be something worth doing. Because this has got to work at some point. Uh, it's definitely coming to more of an equilibrium here. The other thing is going to be when this isn't going off and injecting... See, it's injecting more water and more heat into the area. It's still only 60 degrees down here, so... Um, we're not, like, boiling off the water down here, which might be useful. I don't know. It requires more thought. Uh, I did a cooling loop in here with the... Uh, this guy. The ATN. Which I should now block off again. They had to vacuum some stuff out of there. And it is, I think, mostly able to keep up with one steam turbine. If all three of them were going, I don't think it would be. Um, yeah, I don't seem to really be able to get the most out of AETNs, even though it is it's hydrogen. Um, this is insulated because it is going... It's, it's after it's picked up the heat and it goes to feed the, the AETN. And then it comes back around. But I did make this a little bit bigger. Okay, cancel that. Let's get a ladder. Right there. And expand this out a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty much as good as it's going to get. I can't reach that. Maybe priority nine, not priority one. We're building a thing. I want it to be seven. 
other than when I say nine. That means what? No, this all got built. I just don't have a lot to do right now, I guess. Yeah, they're doing it. They're doing it. Yeah, one one issue, I actually froze a block of crude oil. Um, I would love if the AETNs had some kind of automation where you could tune the temperature, but I mean, you can do it. I just don't have the space for it, really. We could stop the flow of hydrogen to it, but yeah, again, don't have the space. Uh, I mean, I could do it down here, but... I'm not that worried about it if we freeze some oil in there. Like, ideally, this won't need to be accessible. Let's get all that crap out of there. Yeah, this thing is, is too much. Is too much steam, man. It's too much steam. It's still got tons of pressure in there and it's releasing it into here. I think I'm going to lower the temperature this runs at. 165. Maybe this one as well. But it's... It's not even 165 over there because this is doing such a good job, I guess. Uh, we can enable this thing, can't we? What, why is it saying no power wire connected? That seems... Wrong. Completely wrong. It's completely wrong. Oh, okay then. I thought of another system where we try and cool down the steam a little bit before it gets ejected using the, the cooling line that's coming through here. But I don't know about that. Just don't know about it. Yeah, it's down to 165 already. And we're already highly pressurized here. Highly pressurized, I mean two kilograms. So <clears throat> next I need to find a way to keep the steam level down. And that may just be, I mean, taking water out of the system could be one thing, but just lowering the temperature would be the other. And this one isn't even hot enough yet. It may never be, and that's okay. As long as we pull the steam out. The other option would be to force it to precipitate out, but that would cool the entire area, which is against the purpose of this whole unit. So, I don't know. I think more time might tell, but... Partly, it might just be time to uh, tell this thing to shove it for a while. How long till you go dormant? 23 cycles, yeah. And it releases uh, <clears throat> for 257 seconds, 2.2 kilograms of steam at 500 degrees, right? It's just... Uh, it's capable of filling this whole space space with steam pretty pretty quickly. But we're not too far off, really. I may want to remove water from the system by not allowing it to flash here. Is that what that's made out of? And here, again, it's the water gets dropped off and then flashed into steam again, which is maintaining the steam level. There's not, we're not really getting any precipitation down below. So I think I'm going to do that. Seemed like a good idea before, less so now. And then water should, yeah, precipitate down and then we can collect the water. So we're effectively, more effectively anyways, Reducing the amount of steam by not generating more.
Look at it go. It's doing a job anyways. So this kind of system, I mean, I'm, not, I'm really not used to, so it's going to take some tweaking, going to take some doing. We're already too cold over here. But if this guy is going to reduce the amount of steam, then great. And yeah, we're getting, I don't know, like 0.2 kilograms a second of water pulled out. So that's something. Anyways, maybe we should get some fish into these things since they're ready. Uh, we want... We want... Uh, algae. I think I'm just gonna stick with algae. Maybe we'll just do priority five. They're already priority five. And then I need to move some eggs. Uh, fry eggs, four of them. Or I just move Paku Fry. Alright, this is gonna this is gonna take a lot of manual clicking. I'll I'll be right back. Okay, all those commands were given, and we already have... I did the bottom with fry, and the top with a mixture of Paku and fry. Uh, so we have a little bit of a staggered thing. The one thing I do need to check is, did I set up... I did. I set up the automation. Everything has been pasted, copied and pasted, so... The system should work the exact same way as the other ones. I hope. There we go. We got happy little babies. Haku fry. Uh, we do need a little bit of mopping in here. Otherwise, I think it's I think it's pretty good. go so we got our four in here yeah one two three four they're eating the algae and uh, maybe I just stop feeding these ones I know it sounds horrible but it's gonna take quite a while to decommission these <clears throat> pardon me so uh, I think that's the way to go about it we stop producing eggs we stop producing Paku, and we're good to go. There we go. Is that the last one? I think it is. Paku delivered. So that's a nice little switch. They're just kind of out of the way. We can reclaim this space for who knows what. I don't know what. Maybe a grand temple around the neural vacillator do that but um i can see oh this is, these are the teleporters not the the item moving things robotics research desk i inspected yes yes everything's inspected where's the other ones uh yeah that's the teleporter input i don't i don't remember where the output is really don't. One thing I actually have been meaning to do, and maybe we'll start making a space for it, is over here we're gonna make a little farm for really nasty poisonous zombie spores. No, cancel that. I'm gonna have to go give it a little more space, I think. I'm going to have to give it a little more space, I think, he said. Proceeded to not give it more space. Okay, they should be able to build all that.
And then we gotta do what? We gotta pump the nasty air into that thing. In order to incubate the sporb. Okay. No idea, no idea what's gonna happen when we do that, but hey, let's do it anyways. How long, sir? How long? Five cycles. Feels like it's going up to me. It's not, but it feels like it. Okay, that's all emptied. Cool. Wait, are you- yes, you're taking the super hot igneous rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, about that. Uh, since there's nothing else for you to wick up in there, get your igneous rock somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little heat, nothing to see here. Wow, our water's coming out pretty hot. Which means our air's coming out pretty hot. It's 40 degrees being injected into the base. Oh yeah, also. The ethanol is warm. And we got a blueprint. Let's go for... I need something useful, dude. Sure, gold amalgam. That's all I really want out of it. Um, it, I suppose... Oh hey, look at this! That's just about perfect! This is scary, but it's fine. But otherwise, that's great. Okay, let's get some critters moved into there. We'll have to we'll have to deal with the automation later. Please say they're alive. Okay, yep, they're alive. Slickster, move to here. Why did I put it there? to move it to the inside. Slickster. Number two. Number three. Did my hot one die? No! That's sad. Okay. That was only six, right? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe it was only five. Uh, we had six. It was... It was the other one, and it died. Probably not hot enough for it. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. And at least they'll have more CO2 here. So that's the idea. They're going to start eating CO2 and ejecting... Uh, oil, I guess these guys, and we're gonna have to do something with that. I haven't figured out exactly what our needs are, uh, which is why nine, none of these pumps are running. Um, it's gonna have to be some kind of filtration system, I guess. And maybe this is just gonna be our only source of steam for a little while. I don't know, once we get more machines in there, like, we should probably be moving the the steel smelter into there. Um, we could put it down here, make a reservoir for it down here or something. I don't know, fill it with water. But it's gonna get hot. I haven't, yeah, I, I really haven't figured it out. I've got to look at some more references and, and go with it. The power production just is, just makes sense. It's fine. Yeah. I don't think I have anything else to say about this other than just to look at it. Um, yeah, you're still. Oh, you're over pressure. I see. Let's let's take out a block and see what happens. And see what. Ah, will it move more steam out? That's the question. It looks like some stuff flashed from down here and has risen up which is kind of encouraging in a way it's only 78 degrees down here so it's it's not from down there it would have been from around here i guess 
Oh, the lag. I think we would need to open two blocks. Yeah, it's hot. Sure is. All right, two blocks allows a freer movement of the steam. We'll see if that does anything good for the whole system. Definitely need a higher pressure, but I don't really know how to get it over here. Which is partly why I'm leaving this aluminum tile there. So any water that uh, does come in contact with it will flash. Oh, it is barely running. Didn't really seem to flash off that much, did it? Maybe it's not that hot. I mean, it is, but it might require more because to uh, to exchange the heat you know, that quickly, I may actually require a couple more of those. Yeah, I think these ones, they'll kind of recycle the steam as best they can. And this one will be responsible for removing steam from here. You can see down here for sure there's steam coming through. Is that because we opened the doors? Maybe. And so this is just going to be a lot of tweaking, I feel. Getting this thing just right. And then when this goes dormant, maybe the whole thing will change again and it'll all be useless, which is really frustrating. I'm, I'm really tempted to just eliminate this from the whole system. Uh, let it, like, turn these off. Let it inject a certain amount of steam. And then let, let it recycle the steam that way. Just close it off. Deal with what we've got in there. All right, a little bit more steam movement. Hey, look at you guys. All up here, nice and cozy. We should probably put, like, priority six on that. And, uh, yeah, we can clean up the bottom again. And I will be looking for more eggs. I just didn't want to be sitting there pushing the reroll button all episode. Yeah, we'll mop everything. The, uh... The liquid nuclear waste, I really don't know what to do with, so i just been dropping it back there. Should just put a little reservoir for it. Something like this. That's brine. Just a place to drop it and forget about it. Anyways, I think that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you've had a great day, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.